right hey what's up everybody this is Seb de la web monday morning inside the yurt um today i'm going to record this video my throat is a bit hurting i was trying to do this yesterday but it was too much so i have a cup of tea and probably i will take some sips sometimes to um clear the throat uh but anyway today i'm going to show you how to make use of custom icons inside your flatsom theme uh, i wanted to create this video for a long time because we are using this uh, for a lot of our projects and on septloweb.com you can also see we're using custom icons instead of the uh, flatsom default icons that i personally find very limited so we did some research we found this nice article about the best icon library in terms of performance for your WordPress website. And the first one they are promoting is the Google material icons. And when you have a look at the library of the Google material icons, it's, uh, it's connected to the Google fonts. It is a huge library with uh, tons of icons. Uh, you even have the option to change between filled, outlined and rounded and sharp and two tone, but those are the three that uh, I use the most. And the rounded one just has slight edges on the uh, rounded corners on the edges. Um, the only thing that I'm personally missing are social icons. There are no Instagram or Facebook icons available. But if you're using this only for your header and your buttons, this should be enough to work with. Um, so in this tutorial, I created a tutorial page um, that you can visit. If you're watching this video on YouTube, go to the description below and that will take you, uh, you can find a tutorial link and that will take you to this page uh, where you can find the full explanation. Uh, so the first step, what we're going to cover, uh, I wanna tell you quickly that there's also a link to the material icons guide where you can find more information about um, how to implement and um, more information about other options how to integrate but the step the method that we are going to use today is uh, using it through Google fonts and the first thing is just to add in a simple link that I also made available on the uh, tutorial page the only difference uh, between my uh, script and the one that is Google uh, that Google is using is I changed the script a bit so we can also open up the material icons outlined and the material icons rounded. So you can make use of all these three options. And the one that uh, the script that Google is using, then you can only use uh, the filled version. If you're only using the filled version, I can recommend using this one. Probably it will help uh, with the loading speed. But if you wanna have total uh, capacity or availability of all the icons make use of our own uh, script on septaloweb.com uh, so first thing let's copy this script and then you need to put this inside your uh, flatsome advanced settings and for this tutorial i'm going to work with one of our templates let's use snuff it's our most sold pre-made design for the flatsome team uh, especially for uh, web shops that are having a lot of products so it's a kind of a wholesale template and as you can see we are still making use of the default flatsum icons that now we're going to replace with uh, custom icons so go to your project wordpress backend go to flatsum advanced and then paste in the script inside your header scripts scroll down and then click save all changes once you have done this you can directly make use of the icons and in step two i'm going to explain you how to place the icons inside html right inside your ux builder so let's go to the front end let's take one of the pages let's take the about page let's open up our ux builder And in this example, I already have a um, an icon script. So let's take that copy and let's put an icon on top of this headline. You can either, you can uh, use the HTML element, but you can also use the text element. Let's for now use the text element because that gi gives you a little bit more possibility in terms of sizing. Let's apply and let's replace this paragraph text with that icon text. And as you can see, uh, it's immediately replaced with this check mark. 
If you want to make use of a different icon, of course, have a look at the icon library that you can also visit by clicking on this specific link that will take you to the icon library. And then you can just search very easy um, on, for example, a smiley, smile icon, since it's the about page. Click on it. And then here on the right side, you can just copy this specific script that is related to this specific icon. Click on the copy to clipboard and then paste it in. It's really easy. The only thing that I uh, personally don't really like is that it's always 24 pixels. So the icon size is 24 pixels and you cannot really make the font size bigger. It will only change the line height a bit. Just a moment. And also when I you know, put it into an H1, for example, you can also put this directly in a headline like this. You can still see that the font size is still 24 pixels. So the icon size apply update so if you want to change this google you know put a little article about changing the size down below uh, but you still need to add all this custom css to your project and i found i created a little workaround with this specific css make icon size flexible with css and this is the code that you need for this just copy this go to your project again wordpress go to advanced custom settings and then just paste it in the all screen section. And what it will do, this specific line of code, this specific CSS, it will make the icon size adaptive uh, to, for example, headline one, paragraph, or even, you know, with the UX builder, you can change the size. Save all changes. Let's update and now refresh this specific page. You can see that the icon size is already bigger. It's now adapted to this specific H1 uh, since this icon uh, code is placed inside the headline one. And here in the text size, you can even change the font size by, and now you can also change the icon size. So it gives a little bit more flexibility. You of course still need to uh, change a little bit of the padding that is down below, but I find this very useful to change the icon sizes. So this is a, a very quick way of showing you how to integrate or um, how to put these icons inside your UX builder. And now for the second part, I'm going to explain you how to change or replace the default icons of Flatsome. So let's close this. Go to our tutorial page. And here you can see using icons through CSS. Um, so I'm telling now it's time to learn how to replace the Flatsome default icons. And one of the examples here is how to change the icon of the menu. So let's copy this. Go to our project. And let's paste that CSS inside here. Then save all changes. And now when I refresh, you can see that the menu icon is changed. So now I'm going to quickly learn you how I found this, how, how, how you can find out how to make use of this. So it's really easy if you're working with Chrome or Firefox, just do right click and open the developers tool and inspect the specific element. So here you can see I'm you know, inspecting this specific icon and by opening this up, have a search or look for a before tag and then on the right side, check out or see if you can find uh, a specific code saying, uh, searching for a kind of a content element. And this is relating at the moment to a flatsome icon, and we want to replace this with um, a material icon. So just copy this line of code, go to your project. And this is a little bit more technical, but as you can see, it's trying to find that icon. But now just paste all this code of the icon menu, just paste it in here. And now what it will do, save all changes, you will see that the icon will be replaced of the heart with a menu icon as well. Let's see if it works. So as you can see, it's working. And now of course we wanna make use of, for example, a different heart icon of um, material icons. So let's make use of this one, volunteer activism. And instead of making use of this specific code, we now make use of the code point. Copy that. Go to your project. And now for the icon heart, 
we want to replace this specific content. Here we go. And now when you refresh, you can see it's working nicely. So your heart icon, so your wishlist icon is replaced with one of the material icons. So let's say we want to do this also for our My Account. Just inspect the elements. Open it up. Just search for something that is inside uh, the uh, main um, element and search for a before tag. So this is the one again. Check it out here if you can see something that is related to uh, content. Paste it. You can also, you know, oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Inspect before. So this is the one we are going to copy. Going back to our project. So we're doing the same trick. Paste it in. Take all of the code. Paste it in here. So make sure you always have the opening tag related to the class and the closing tag. And this is the, the thing that you always need. And now we want to have a nice user icon. Search on user. So let's take the account circle. We need the code point again. Click on copy. Go to your project. And then replace the content. Save all changes. Refresh. And as you can see, it's working really nicely. Um, so now you know how to replace the header icons. And now I quickly want to show you how to uh, change button icons as well. So let's open up our UX builder, in this case for the front page. And let's say we want to add an icon here for the buy now, buy now button. So I like to make use of the uh, functionality of the built-in icons uh, functionality of the uh, button element inside the UX builder. So first of all, I'm going to... Um, uh, oh, where's my cursor? I'm going to choose one of the icons. So let's say um, phone. I'm going to apply, update. And now I'm going to open up the page again. Here you can see the icon. Let's do inspect, right click. Let's search for the before tag again. Now here on the right, we can see icon phone before. And let's copy that. Just paste it in. Let's copy all this stuff. And the reason why I'm copying all this code, I'm not sure what it all does, but I uh, grabbed this specific code from Google itself. So um, just to make sure we got everything that is needed, I copy all the code, paste it in. And let's say we want to replace the phone icon with our own material phone icon. Let's make it into a smartphone. Let's get the code point again. Paste it in. Save all changes. And now let's refresh. And as you can see, we're now having a nice uh, phone icon. So sometimes it's useful, especially with buttons, just to add a little padding, uh, just to align it a little bit better. So sometimes what I do is I'm saying padding up three pixels, closing it down, save all changes. And I think the alignment will be a little bit better now. Refreshing. And as you can see, it's aligned better in terms of the vertical alignment. Um, so that's, that's how you add in a custom icon inside your buttons. So let's say you don't want to replace the default icon for all... Uh, your flat sum buttons in this case for phone you can always add in a class clicking on the button going down and just write in uh, for example material apply update and now what you can do is just input in dot material with a space save all changes now let's refresh and as you can see, it's still working, but you now need to add in material always to uh, to make this uh, possible. So now you're having double options. So when I'm taking material away, you can see it's reverting, uh, changing back to the icon of Flatsome default. But by adding the class material, it's changed to material icon. And this way you can play around and choose uh, when to use 
uh, a material icon and when to use uh, one of the Flatsome default icons. So I think I've covered everything that is uh, that I wanted to tell you about making use of custom icons. I hope you really like this tutorial. Uh, if you uh, want to be updated on my latest video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, that you can find on youtube.com. Um, subscribe and then you will up be updated to uh, our latest videos. And uh, also make sure to have a look at our uh, Flatsome templates. Here you can find pre-made stuff that we are creating. We're creating amazing designs uh, for also your existing WooCommerce Flatsome shop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.